So get ready for a glimpse into a day in the life with Chanel. This is a sneak peek at what's coming up, which will be a kitchen makeover with a fresh coat of paint, a DIY transformation on a large vase, some visual shopping for some fabric and also some stationery. And you'll see the initial steps and preparations before the full video reveals all the details of the refresh and stylish update. Let's get right into the video. I'm starting with this kitchen which could use a bit of a refresh. The walls are currently in the agreeable gray, a popular color that has been used again throughout the entire house. While it served its purpose very well <laughs> through the years, it is simply ready for a change to get lightened and brightened for the space. So you'll notice that there are a few nail holes that do need attention so I'll be filling those in to create of course that smooth surface for painting. The plan is to transform the kitchen with a fresh coat of Whisper White and again we know that this color will bring a new level of brightness and make the space feel more open fresh and inviting but before I dive into the painting process let me give you an overview of the entire space and you can see where we're starting from and visualize the transformation that will take place ahead Now you can see the new color on the wall and wow what a difference it has made. Whisper White has completely transformed the space as always. <laughs> the kitchen feels brighter, more open and so much more fresher. It's amazing again just how color can change and elevate an entire room and give it a whole new life went out for a visual shopping trip and made a few small purchases. I came across a great set of cabinets at the Habitat Restore DIY video coming soon. Then I stopped by my local thrift store. I always love finding a good pair of lamps. These were ugly at first glance, <laughs> but the size and weight will make a difference once I work my magic on it. They won't be ugly for long. First, I have to admit, <laughs> if you've seen or heard me say in previous videos, I am such a fabric junkie. <laughs> I simply love looking at and running my fingers across beautiful textured fabrics. And then I had to pick up some for a client uh, to make some custom shears for her home. Look at these beautiful colors, gorgeous gold, eye-catching greens. Oof yes and after that i visited my uh, supplier to choose some new fabric samples for some pillows for my shop link down below in the description box I found two spectacular options a light chenille with a subtle dot and a stunning abstract uh, heavyweight fabric with a bold black accent mm, absolutely gorgeous I don't know if you can hear the excitement in my voice but I am definitely looking forward to sharing these in the shop for you to come and purchase this fabric is absolutely beautiful I can't say it enough Then me and my daughter, we stopped by a stationery store. I have to say fabrics, linens, and pretty papers are totally my thing. <laughs> this store has some beautiful papers that could be used for art, wrapping gifts, or even recovering a lampshade. Just look at these stunners. Blues, grays, uh, golds, just an array of beautiful paper and other items in the store that you can look at as well. And there she goes again. Once again, I found myself drawn to the paper, this time at the local home goods. <laughs> the wrapping paper was so beautiful that it made me stop in my tracks. I stood there debating with myself, knowing I did not have an immediate use for it. But oh, the possibilities. <laughs> I could have easily found a reason to take it home, 
but I resisted. I resisted this time. I really did. <laughs> Went by another thrift store. Oh my gosh. And I came across this absolutely stunning face, which is truly large in scale. Though, of course, the camera is not doing it justice and it is not quite picking up the size. This beautiful dove detail immediately caught my attention when I spotted it in the store. And I am very impressed with the colors on the vase's body, but I'm not very fond of the terracotta color that is along the top and the bottom of the vase. Uh, the vase also features some lovely shades of blue within the body, which I am trying to highlight here. But let me give you a quick spin around of the entire piece so that you can appreciate all of its details before we go in for the DIY. To update the look, I'm going to use some tape and mask off areas of the vase that I wanted to keep as they are so I could focus more on painting the um, areas of the terracotta sections that I wanted to get rid of. My goal is to paint the area in a soft tan color that blends seamlessly with the midsection of the vase. So for this idea, I had to get a um, couple of paint colors together from around the house and I had to do a color matching again using some basic craft paint I had on hand which is normally like $1.49 a bottle if you choose to do a DIY such as this. And I chose not to paint the entire vase because it's currently beautiful in the details and I don't want to cover the entire thing up. So instead, I'm just going to highlight the specific areas that I want to cover. Along with that, I just went in with uh, a quick paper plate. I used a small artist brush to carefully blend the colors to match the soft tan of the midsection and this way I can enhance the base while still preserving its overall beautiful charm that it has. Again, very light swooshes and swatches all across the face, just blending the tan beige color together with the creamy off-white color to achieve that exact, almost exact, <laughs> desired color. Also went around the top of the vase and carefully painted it to match the soft tan color of the midsection. And so after finishing, I removed all of the tape to reveal the quick DIY makeover. The fresh paint has already transformed the look of the vase better to fit a taste. One great thing about this paint is how easily it, it applies and how easily it is to remove. So if I decide in the future that I want to bring it back to its original terracotta color, I can simply wash it away with a little scrubbing and some soap and water. It's a versatile solution that allows me to update the base now while keeping the option to revert back to its original look later. Now let's style the vase in the refreshed kitchen space. I added some faux eucalyptus stems in the autumn color to complement the new look of the vase and just to bring in that touch of fall. <laughs> Here's how the updated vase fits beautifully in the space and enhancing the overall decor with its fresh new appearance.
then you know after this long day in life <laughs> your girl needed a bit of TLC and I received this massager from Montrox which I'll link down below in the description area and it is excellent for after a long day of hard work to slide your feet into it has the massaging effect all along the entire portion of the bottom of your feet as well as it has a wonderful heating element just gives you that overall relaxed state like you're getting a foot massage and I'll link that down below in the description box recap of the entire video I started by refreshing the kitchen which was previously painted again in the gray, gray field and some nails repainted the walls transforming the entire space next I went on a visual shopping trip or I did find a base and a couple of other items which will be coming up in some videos to come made over a vase and uh, blended in those beautiful colors of the soft beige with the little tan and uh, some cream also shop for some fabrics and finally i restyled and refreshed the vase in a touch of fall <laughs> and uh yeah that's all of the entire video at the end of life with chanel so as always stay inspired motivated and keep moving creating something beautiful if not for yourself then definitely for someone else this has been chanel and i'll see you all in those upcoming videos that i did mention bye for now